So, I just wanted to say before I get into the video, the first thing I put on him is this medicine for his, um, he just that's it for the video guys, hope you guys enjoyed watching, um, this was filmed a while ago, like, not a while, but like a few weeks ago, and now I'm off school, so I will be posting, trying to post more often, because of the coronavirus, and I know, hopefully a lot of you guys will just have fun as I am, so I enjoy the video to you guys, and I should quite often. I mean, you know, you it's always the shampoo we use right now, because like she's in the box, these dogs. So yeah, that's it. Shampoo, I don't know exactly Bye. how it with me right now, but I don't know exactly the name, but I know it's for speeds and it's for dogs. And I just usually fill the tub up, and then I get a little, um, cup, and then I rinse him, then I start scrubbing. It takes a lot of shampoo to bathe him. And he does not like baths the most. He likes water, just not baths for whatever reason. So I make sure to get it in there really good and scrub all over him. His paws seem to be the thing that gets the most dirty. And I just hook him up on the leash usually and put it up on this hook, this rack that's usually for. I don't know what it's usually for, but I hook him up on there and so he can stay still because he likes to jump out when he's wet and makes a big mess for me to clean up even though he usually makes a big mess anyway but that's besides the point so i just rinse him down and then i scrub him really well After I do it with one side, I usually repeat the same thing on the other side. Um, I just scrub it down, make sure to get all the dirt out of his fur. And he's short haired, so it's not that it doesn't take that amount long of time. And any brush I pay, I found that I use doesn't really get any of his fur out because it's so hard to brush him. So I've used soft brushes, and I've seen that works the best. Um, and I have a soft brush for him. So, yeah, I just repeat with the same size, and I make sure to really scrub his paws because they get really muddy and smelly. After I'm done with this body, I take the collar off and I have to do is at least so it part his face. I just pour some water on his face while covering his eyes and then I just scrub it and you can see him. He's super cute. Um, his little face when he gets a bath, it's just like, please don't do this to me and it's really cute. But um, then I just scrub down his face and everything and I make sure to... You may find this gross, but I do is do his butt and his tail just because that's probably one of the most smelly parts, obviously, but a lot of people probably don't do that to the dogs, but um, I love pickles and I want to be a vet when I grow up, so I've got to get used to touching that stuff, and it's not gross to me. I know it can be gross to some people, but as long as you wash your hands after, it's not really that gross at least for me so um after i um scrub him down fully and i fully have got him scrubbed down i usually start and i turn on the shower hose and i start spraying him down to get all that so 
soap off and I don't like to use like a cup because it's really hard to get like his stomach and stuff with a cup you know what I mean and he doesn't really like if the water's that high so I leave it pretty shallow usually so I just spray him down and he's usually pretty good for this part he kind of likes it I think because I don't do cold water but I don't do really hot water I just do like warm water and he likes that part After I'm done washing him, I get his special towel. This one's the towel that is specially dedicated to him, and I dry him off with it. Um, I usually have to um, leave his leash on because he tends to want to escape if I don't, and you know, wander off, and it's hard. But sometimes I take it off just to get a better clean, and I have nowhere to put it. So, um, just dry him off. I don't fully dry him off because it's pretty hard. I just have to let him air dry. I just make sure that he's not wet so he doesn't get cold. He likes to, after he's done with a bath, rub up on literally everything he can. And then if he, um, if he is let outside, that's why I don't like to let him outside after a bath because he rolls around in literally everything like mud and everything and I'm like why would you do that like you're just done with your bath so yeah he's not the most he doesn't like baths the most in the world and he usually shakes on me like a bunch of times as you've seen through this video but he's a good boy and thankfully he can still fit in the bathtub so I don't have to use freezing cold hose water on him because I know how that feels and it's a terrible feeling to bathe and freezing cold water and I don't want to ever do that to him but maybe one day he'll go out go to the tub and I'll actually have to so after I'm done drying him mostly I take a comb on a sorry a brush that's soft it's a soft brush because um brushes that would work on fluffy dogs don't work on him since he's short haired so I just have to get all that extra dirt off and everything and that's why I use the brush it's also good for, um, well, it's not really good for anything else to get the dirt off and everything and make his fur smooth, but he kind of likes it, I think. He might not, I don't know, I think he does, but I think he just acts like he doesn't, so he can be done with it, but I think he actually does enjoy, this is the, his probably favorite part of the whole bath is being brushed and after I brush him he is done with the bath which is much appreciated for him but for me not quite as you can see all that for he is short for haired but he does shed quite a bit um if you bathe him like not actually in real life if you pet him he doesn't really shed but I have to clean up 